Just, so um, talk about, let's talk about Lekom. But, you know, in the last few days... I off cab, I off cab, I G. <laughs> you know, in the last That's few days, I feel... Right there. In the last few days, I feel Lekom, Erika has been confusing his... Uh, uh, is it philosophical? Um, you know, <laughs> so do you think he should still go after Erika? I don't think so. I think I like where he is with his mindset. And I'll and I tell you honestly... I'm going to tell you that you should play some again for this industry. No, but listen... You can imagine. Okay. You, you, you go for my head. We'll be ready to worry. I'll go play Lekon. some. Now you're going to fight. Don't you, don't you, you see? But, how, but, if we, I, not seen the happen. Now your guy, Abby. You now your guy. Yes, now. But, but why are off cap? I'll leave her. I'll leave her. I, 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 I know they follow his people. He never reached. 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 He never Nothing. Okay. That boy, nothing that happened. Till then, you feel it. Bah. Me and you go fight on this one. Leave the boy. See, as I, like like that, I like him. Even, even if he, if he won't, even won't get finished for any cars, go ahead. But that that G is staying till the end, bro. I'm not even trying to... I'm, listen, I know they vote for... This is truth. I never vote for people. I know they... But that one, that guy, no, I did. I know they, I know they play. I just like because I want, I'm an advocate for hardworking kids. I hate the fact that people are very, in this, especially in Nigeria, people are stereotyped. It's a big problem. Let me give an example now. A person will look because I did die, will look at this one, a bad boy. No. Or because, wait, I don't get six packs, then, you know, I don't fight. My brain is fine now. So I feel for me, he brought a different kind of pee to the house, and that's what I fuck with. I like, I love underdogs that know what they have, they get what they want, you know, and they, and that's it. So I'm not coming because of the fact that he's, he's a musician. Throw that in the bin. I like the fact that he did not get the chance. There was no money, the family, I mean, things were not the same as a regular kid, and that's where we came from. But he still showed up in the room. That's it, so. Bro, and it's about the legacy. I'm about the legacy because my life, my story relates with that. People ju are very judgmental. The same thing you said, Ubi. Everybody just thinks, yeah. oh, because, oh, yeah, this, and you, you can't do certain things. Then they write you off and everything. That's why. And I know, let me tell you, when the boy entered the house, listen, with my first tweet, I said, ah, I like this guy. I told somebody, I said, one, one baby said, one of my friends said, mm, I'll be down. I said, no, this guy, because the way he spoke in the video, his conversations is straight up. So my own, like this guy says, deep. He's deeper than that too. He is like the post boy of people like her, us that are in the streets that grow up from nowhere. Do you know what I'm saying? Where where they say their dreams are never gonna come through, and that's what he is. He looks like the post boy of that kind. Of, and when the guy yarn, the sense, you know, education wise, every single thing I liked about him. To truth is, is one of the reasons and one of the problems we have in this country, where you tend to judge people based on how they look. What do you yeah. feel like? And guess what? He just shut everybody up. And that's cool. Let me see. He's not the finest in the house. He's carrying the dreadlocks. Naturally, you know what, how they even qualify people with dreadlocks first. And when he spoke, and when he speaks, bro, and you see, I can align with his dreams. I can align with his dreams. He has it up here. So whether I like him, like Erica, everybody's allowed to fall in love. I think, I think love when he comes out, right, he's, a, he's, a, he's an... Is someone that I listened to his song that um, DJ Big M played on on Saturday, yeah. and I was shocked that that song wasn't doing well already before. But I pray that he he gets a lot of streams on that. I, song. I mean, there was one he even did with Reminis and Chinko. That really? one too was not a bad. Yeah, that one's not a bad song. But you see, let me tell you one thing. It just clearly states that that at the end of the day, sometimes you know. We all need to start looking at things differently. Start understanding that we don't want to wear something pops and gets bigger before we tap into it. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And shout out to everybody who's seen his, his talents from day one. Even my manager told me about the guy. So I think he knows him very well. Like, you know, and all that. And he used to speak about the guy. And whether you like it or not, the fact well, is, but I, I don't even relate with him because of his music. I relate with him because, because of his personality. His, I, exactly. His ideologies, his, his mind. And honestly, we need to start encouraging people that have sense. It's not that you have this thing. You people that are, it doesn't matter where you are from, who you are. We need to start encouraging people that have sense. It doesn't. You see, just um, before we, I'm going to give you 
three options. You're going to give me your top five female, top five male, and then final top five that you think. Oh, okay. It, could, it can change at any time when you come back on the show. But for now, how you feel, I'll ask you. But before we go there, someone like Lincoln, right? He's meant to come out with the fame that he's already gathered. And his music career is meant to move because he's been hustling this thing for a while. Why do you think that when these guys like Big Brother, like you try the musicians, and they come out, it's, they even struggle with their music career. Believing that, we, we know how that, okay, what a lot of people, are, a lot of artists are looking for is that prominence. They want to be known. They want somebody to hear about them. They want somebody to hear their music. Now, these guys are out. They're already popular. The brand is there. All you need to do is mix the music. But with the fan base they have, the fan base cannot even push their music, but they are always talking about different stuff. So why do you think it's like that? Listen, first of all, like I said, um, not everybody have ample information about, for example, as much as you think they're big on, on the space of music, I, I, I might not even know how to promote my own song. It's a different ballgame entirely. Now, the thing is, you need to ask questions. For example, let me tell you the truth. If I'm going to do my distributions for music, there's one, there's one guy that's come to my mind. But it took me, took me, he's my friend, but I never even knew how good he was until I started to find out more about him. You need to start asking questions. And I've been in the Who's business that? for so long. Uh, Balaji Karim. Okay. Music distribution. And then a lot of guys like that. I feel like at the end of the day, it's just not been in the right place with the right people. You need to start looking at the angle when you come out and ask questions. The problem about people is when they come out, is the first set of who that come to them that they gather as friends and they start to push and do that. Sometimes the people that helped you during the time of the house do not mean, does not mean they're the ones who are very liable to push your things even afterwards. When you come out, you still need to ask the right questions. It's the same way I tell people. If you go on dates, ask one question. What do you do? How much do you earn? What is your blood type? What is your genotype? People don't ask the right questions. So I feel that for him, a lot of people that come out of the house, they rush. Do you know what I'm saying? They, they, oh, then, then guess what? They're indebted to a lot of people. The ones that give them money to vote. The ones that give them people to money to Do you know what I'm saying? Sometimes Ubi might not be the right guy, but he might be the one that needs you, that would help you get to the next level. And that's why you think, let me give an example. For someone like us, we're not the first set or people that people will see and say, ah, I want to talk to you. Let me tell you, me in music, in basic, I have the ear for music. I've been able to judge a lot of songs that were mega hits. A lot of mega hits that I played first. But you know the funny thing? Some people will not come to me first. They might think, oh, maybe that's just one arrogant guy, or that's just one guy, you know, I cannot approach him. And that's not true. But the fact is, at the end of the day, most of them don't approach me because I'll tell you the truth. If your song is whack, it's whack. Kesolo is my guy, he knows. If your song is good, it's good. If your song is whack, it is whack. It's whack. I'll, I'll tell you straight up. But you know the funny thing? I'm not even going to tell you it's a whack song. I'll tell you, you know what? You need to do better. This is not with And I'll explain to you where you've gone wrong. But let me tell you one thing is, it's better to go to people that will give you the right advice on your craft. Whether or not it's going to be painful to hear or is not, it's still good. And I think that's what has happened over time. A lot of them are indebted to a lot of people. They feel I need to satisfy my friends and stuff like that. And they don't go to the right people. So I think Lecon... That's the only thing I fear for him. He'll come out, hey, maybe his guys from University of Lagos or his guys from uh, their area or his guy from his hood. You say, ah, Baba, you know, this guy, he supports you. So sometimes he gets indebted to them. When he comes out, he needs to sit down and most likely have a proper business manager. Someone who is seasoned and they can put you through stuff. For example, someone like Lekon, you can meet people like uh, Steve Abayku. Sit with him. You get what I'm saying? Different kind of guys that will put you through and take you to the next level when it comes to comedy. Sometimes it might not even be about what you got. They don't even have to do your stuff for you. Sit with people like Obi Asika. Do you get what I'm saying? Whether you like it or not, still go back to Lysa Lisa and talk to them. Whether you like it or not, you can come well, to people one, like dig, me. You need to dig You deep. need to. You need to. You need to speak to the right people. That's the truth. All right. Top five female. You feel top that will get to top five in the house? Top five female? Yeah. Okay. Number five, um, that would be um, 
Number five, number five, number five, number five will be. I'm trying to rack my head around it, but I think top five. Listen, let me just say, but all the ladies that are going to be on my list, Nengi's going to be on my list, Erica will be on my list, Dorothy will be on my list. Um, um, uh, ladies, 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 ladies. Tony Badge will be on my list, and one more person. Just give me the names, and I think I, I can figure it out. Um, Keisha. Okay, Keisha. Yeah, hold on. V. Hold on. Um, Lucy. No. That's all. Keisha. So let me tell you the other one. I would do Keisha. Um. Um. Watoni. There's Watoni. Don't worry. Don't... No, no, no. Watoni not gonna be on my list. Keisha so will be on my Keisha? list. Keisha will be on my list. Dorothy, uh, Erica, and Keisha and um, Tolani Bad. Let me just say, so Keisha, Tolani Bad, right? Nengi, Dorothy, Erica. So number one is Erica, number two is Dorothy, three is Nengi, four is Tolani Bad, five is Keisha. Five guys. Five guys, my top five guys, definitely. First of all, let me just mention the people that will be on my list. Brighto is going to be on my list. Um, um, there are not so many guys in the house that I think I can connect. Lacorn is number one for me. Lacorn is going to be on my list. Um, um, to be honest, I don't like a lot of guys in the house, I'll be honest. Prince but is I on feel, your list. Prince will be on my list as well. But to be honest, my number one is Lacorn. I don't care about the rest. So no Ozo and Kid Wire. No, Ozo, Ozo is not going to be on my list. And Kid Wire, Kid Wire will be on my list. Ozo is not going to be on my list. I mean, Neo is not going to be on my list. Uh, but Prince definitely. So I thought um, you were going to mention Eric on your list. E Eric, sorry. No, Eric, no, Eric is not going to be on my list. Eric is not going to be on any of my list. All right. So give me your five. What What you think? Looking at the the show, we're in the third week. Give me. Your top five. Top five. How would you, if you were, if you were a big brother, how you pick them? I'll pick them. Top five. Honestly, that would be Tony Bat. Five. Definitely, it will be um, Nengi, Dorothy, Erica. Lekong. So Lekong one, Erica two, Nangi three. No, Lekong no. one, Erica two, Dorothy, Dorothy three, three. four, four and Tolan 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 Wow. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. And I and I, I, and do you, and you, I put you, do you have a reason do you have a reason for putting Nengi on because I, I would think that some people would say oh Maybe Leko, Nengi, Erica. Why do you think you put Nengi in number four? Listen, let me tell you one thing. Um, I put Nengi on number four for a very reason because the game plan, I don't know how long that will last her. It's a, it's a, it's a game plan, it's dangerous. Uh, but I don't think, I don't know how that will last her actually. But I, I know for, for sure if I want to put it in that order, I think for me it will be very hard to play that till the end. Why I put Tolani Bats there? Because Tolani is very feisty. She's fiery. And listen, she's, she's getting into the business of different things. Like, it might come across as crazy. But like I said, I mean, over any guy, those are my top. And I don't tell anybody. If I want to replace anybody with, with Tolani, I'll probably have to replace him with, with Bright O, I'll be honest. So, but honestly, I think for me, it just comes across because she comes with something different to the table. But I can guarantee the number four, four of you that I feel when we get to the final, Tolani is between Tolani or Brighto, but the four people is Nengi, Dorothy, Erica, Lekon. Guaranteed, Lekon is number one for me. Okay. With the head of house announced mm -hmm. and assistant head of house announced, every other person is up for eviction. Who do you think is going on Sunday? Everyone is up for... Ah, Sunday, Eric is going home. Eric needs to go and plan his wedding. Because you know the thing, we need to buy a shirt. So if you go home and go and plan his wedding, 
Yes. Me, I, I'll yeah. never listen in that in that list. Eh? You can me. Kesha is not. I, I I don't agree that Kesha should go home. Even in that uh, madness, please weigh the options. So uh, for me, oh, is Eric that is going home? Is either Eric or Lucy? But Eric, I think Lucy is even Lucy to me oh, is better. Eric should just go home first. He doesn't go out. We go plan the wedding. We go buy. We right. go buy. Shall be later. Thank you so much, Justin, for coming on the show. I really appreciate you for coming on thank the show. You thank much. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.